the headlines! 15-year-old girl accuses police officer for sex in exchange for freedom. Vice President Lenny Rubredo contradicts President Duterte on BOC militarization. DFA assures Ganaban's family arrangement of repatriation of her body. Miss Earth Philippines 2018 12 divisions of Caraga converges for Regional Schools Press Conference 2018. Live from Venavista Sped Elementary School, this is One News Network. Good morning, Philippines. Good morning, Venavista. This is Yuri Lilangan. And this is Erika Barbosa. Providing you the latest and most controversial news through One Bias Delivery. Aiming for oneness for our nation's success. This is One News Network. For the details of our news, 15-year-old girl accuses police officer for sex in exchange for freedom. A 15-year-old girl accuses PO1 Eduardo Valencia for forcing her to have sex with him in exchange for setting her free, known as palitpuri or sex in exchange for freedom. After the police arrested her parents' drug charges on October 25, the girl claimed she is brought to the Sampaloc police station and threatened with drug charges. Three days later, the Manila City Prosecutor's Office charged PO1 Valencia with rape. He denied charges against him, claiming the teenager wanted to get back at him for arresting her parents. Vice President Lenny Robredo contradicts President Duterte on BOC militarization. To tell us more about the situation, here is General Sabado. Vice President Lene Robredo said that she is against on President Rodrigo Duterte wanted the BOC militarized because soldiers tended to follow orders without questions. This seems bothering. It's bothering because not everything is helped by there being no questions, especially if the order is wrong, she said. After the groups involved in the smuggling of Shabu worth of 6.4 billion pesos on May 2017 and the possible entry into the country of the same illegal drugs worth 11 billion pesos on July, in the 30 administration had not gone as Robredo pointed out. This is General Sabado for One News Network. Back to you. Thank you, Jai. Let us keep the conversation running and more news to reveal. One News Network will be right back after a short break. Problems are everywhere. Rising inflation rates, economic crisis, terrorist-related security threats, political dynasties, and rampant corruption all leading to the rise in poverty rate but all of these can be changed if we are wise enough to choose the right leader be with us as we venture and exercise our right to vote this is brought to you by one news network Miss Earth Philippines 2018 ranked top 8. To give an overview on this matter, here is Alexander Yalista. Miss Earth Philippines Salvia Celeste Cortazzi ascended to this year's top 8 but failed to claim the title on Saturday at the Mall of Asia Arena in Pasay City. During the hashtag and question and answer portion, her journey was cut short. The portion requires the candidate to describe their opinion on the topic of hashtag assigned to them, as she shared her opinion on the hashtag malnutrition. Cortezi answered, But is the key to, purpose, to serve the purpose of our knowledge and humanity. Thank you. This is Alexander Realista for one year. 12 divisions of Caraga converges for regional schools press conference 2018. On the line with us right now, our own and news patroller, Miss General Sabado, Jai. Twelve divisions of Caraga, namely Agusan del Norte, Agusan del Sur, Bayugan City, 
Bislig City, Butuan City, Kabadbaran City, Dinagat Islands, Surigao Islands, Surigao City, Surigao del Norte, Surigao del Sur and Tandag City converge for RSPC 2018 on November 5 to 9 with a theme celebrating diversity and inclusive education through talents and skills. Well, Erika, as you can see, there are some delegates and I can feel the tension and excitement as the series of competition begins. Now we have here beside me Mr. Ark Villanueva, a delegate from the division of Surigao del Sur. So, Ark, how do you feel that finally you are about to compete for the regionals? Um, I am excited, of course, and a bit nervous, but that won't stop for us in buying for the top spots. Okay, thank you, Ark. This is General Sabado for One News Network. Back to you. Thank you, Jai. And that's it for today's news updates. This is Erika Barbosa. And this is Yuri Linaman. See you next time only here in the station that delivers unbiased news. Aiming for oneness for our nation's success. This, this is One, one News Network. Network.